In the previous video, we saw the main tools of the edit mode, and now we are going to learn about other tools that are not in the main panel but are equally useful. Remember that if you are enjoying this series and want to go deeper, I invite you to take a look at my complete Blender course for beginners. You have the link in the video description. And now, let's go to the next level. In addition to the tools we already saw in the edit mode, there are other tools found up here in these panels. The first one we are going to see is to create edges or faces from vertices. So if I select two vertices and press the F key, it will join them together with an edge. If I have three or more vertices selected and I press the F key, it will fill it with a face. This tool can be used, for example, to finish filling in the missing part of this model. Well, we have another variation of this a fill tool, which is to fill by generating triangles, and it is called Fill. For example, I'm going to select all this loop with Alt, and if I press Alt F, it will fill all that space with triangles which is not a very clean geometry, but it can be useful on some occasions. If we simply press F, it creates an N-gon, which is a polygon with many faces, and is not very advisable for modeling. However, for these cases, there is a better option, called Grid Fill, which can be found here. And it fills all that space trying to generate squares, with a very regular grid. From these options below, we can also rotate the result to have other variations. So, whenever we have a space that has an even number of vertices, and we want to fill it in a regular way, this would be the most ideal option. The next tool we have is to connect vertices. We are going to use this tool to join two vertices that we have selected. If we select the two vertices and press the J key, it creates an edge between those two vertices. If we select more than two vertices and press J, it will create an edge along the selected path. We can select many, and it will always look for the shortest path to make that connection. So this, for example, is a very useful tool in case we have a five-sided polygon and we want to clean up its geometry. The next tool we will look at is called Triangulate. In this case, most of the polygons are squares, if I select everything and press Ctrl T, Blender will convert all those polygons into triangles. I'm going to do it here again. And when I triangulate here, I also have some options that are different algorithms for the result of this triangulation. Just as we have triangulate, we have the opposite tool, which is called Trice to Quads. I'm going to select my whole model, and if I press Alt J, it's going to try to convert all those polygons that were triangulated back to squares, giving me back a cleaner geometry. However, this tool is not accurate all the time. For example, here in this part of the geometry, I had some triangles left. So, in some cases, I would have to manually finish adjusting it. Well, the next tool we have is called Merge, which is used to collapse vertices in a single point. So, if for example I have four vertices selected, I can press the M key to bring up the Merge menu and select a position to collapse them. If I press Alt-Center, it will do them in the middle of all vertices. Alt-Cursor, where I have the 3D cursor. Alt-Last, in the last selected vertex. And Alt-First, in the first selected vertex. And here below we have another option called By Distance that what it does is to collapse the vertices that are very close to each other. If, for example, I have these vertices that are very close to each other, and I want to remove them, I can select all of them. I press by distance, and in this panel, I select the distance. If I increase it a little bit, you can see that some vertices are collapsed. Down here, we get a sign that says 50 vertices were removed. Then we can use it to clean up our geometry. The next tool that we will see serves to separate a part of our model. If, for example, I select here a group of polygons, and I want to separate them, I will press the shortcut P. 
and here it asks us if we want to separate by selection, material, or by individual pieces. I am going to do it in this case by selection, and what it does is that it puts this selection of polygons in a separate object. I'm going to hit Ctrl Z to make them join again. The next tool we're going to look at is called Bridge Edge Loops. What it does is it joins two groups of loops together and connects them while preserving the geometry. So if I have these polygons here, I can go to the Edges menu and select Bridge Edge Loops. In this way, it connects them while preserving the original geometry. Remember that all this type of tools can also be searched from the search panel. That in my case is with the space key. Okay, so this tool is useful to connect these loops in a regular way. And it works even if we have a different number of vertices. I'm going to hit the tool again, and it connects it, but since the number of vertices is different, in this case it makes me a triangulation, which can work in some cases. But the ideal is always to maintain a clean geometry. Let's do another example here with a model that already has some volume. I'm going to select these two loops. I'm going to use the tool. And from the panel, we're going to adjust the parameters. So here I can tell you the amount of cuts I want to put on it. I can also play with the smoothness of this joint so that it connects in a smoother way. Or play a little bit with the thickness profile. So, in my opinion, those are the main tools that we can access in edit mode that are not so much at hand, but in these panels. And if we want to access these panels more quickly, we can press Ctrl V for vertices, Ctrl E for edges, and Ctrl F for faces. Many of these tools have shortcuts, but if you can't find it, you can click on the panel. Or look for it here in the search bar, which is super handy as we learn some keyboard shortcuts. And here are the shortcuts that we used during this video.